Hi everyone and welcome back to the Nay Nails channel. I'm Steffi Fernandez and in today's video we are going to paint Blossom! Blossom! Blossom from Powerpuff Girls, oh yes! We've got a little bit of character work for you guys. I hope you enjoy this one, let's get cracking. So I've already applied a layer of a gorgeous color that we have. I'm not sure if it's been released yet, but it's called Paradise and it's a stunning mint, minty color. It's like minty aqua -y kind of, right? It's such a beautiful color. And I've applied one layer of this just so you can also see better what I do. And I think it's a perfect background for this little uh, bad boy that we're gonna paint today. So I'm gonna go in with my 0002 brush and I'm gonna pick up some of the color that I have on the palette, which is called Shy Away. And to start um, Powerpuff, I'm gonna go ahead and paint a nice big circle on the nail. And that's just to kind of mark up the mahoosive head that she has. So don't stress if the circle is not perfect, we're gonna fill it in and then we can kind of, you know, fix anything if it's not uh, as round as you want it to be. So I'm not gonna, gonna go ahead and fill that um, circle in. You wanna be putting uh, quite a bit of product on because uh, you want it to be opaque and you don't want to go in with that second coat. A lot of people like to do two coats when they do character work um, I try and avoid that, so I put a, a thicker layer and then when I flash cure it, I kind of cure it for a bit longer so there's no bubbles um, on the uh, section that I've painted. I'm going to go ahead and add the arm at the top of the head and I'm going to do it now because I'm already using Shy Away, so I might as well. So I'm just painting a what looks like a mini cocktail sausage <laughs> at the top of the head. Paint that again, make sure the color is even everywhere. And if I, I'm happy with the color and it looks opaque everywhere, I'm gonna pop this into the lamp. This time about 15 to 20 seconds, just to make sure there's no bubbles. I'm now gonna go in to one of our new colors as well. It's called Tangerine Twist and it's perfect for that hair that Blossom has. So I'm gonna go in and just paint a section at the top of the head. So firstly, I'm outlining the top of that circle that we painted on earlier on. And now I'm just gonna establish where the midsection of the head is, which is here roughly. And then I'm gonna paint a little triangle, just like so. So I'm gonna go one, in two just like that and then i'm going to join the lines up and fill the whole section in and do the same on the other side right i've got the top bit of the hair done i'm now going to go ahead and paint the hair at the bottom so that the hair that i'm painting at the bottom is under the dress so i'm going to go in and just kind of outline the top the bottom section sorry of the face where the chin is and then i'm going to drag the color down and fill it in so i'm going to go ahead and do that. Now uh, the hair flicks out so what I'm going to do is paint a u-shape just on here and then I'm gonna do a little and then I'm gonna drag the color in and join it up with the section that I painted earlier and I get that nice flick. And I'm gonna go ahead and paint it in and repeat the same thing on the other side. And once I'm happy with the shape, I'm going to pop it into the lamp and cure it again for 15 to 20 seconds. 
Now that I've got this layer cured, I'm gonna go into a gorgeous pink. I think it's called First Night. Oh yes, First Night. And I'm gonna pick up some of that paint and I'm gonna go in just where we painted with the orange earlier on and I'm gonna create a little um, kind of uh, the dress section of uh, Blossom. So it's gonna be a little, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not square. No, it's straight, babe. <laughs> that's it. That's what the word I'm looking for. Rectangle. So we've got that section done over here. So I'm not going to go in and cure this. Uh, I'm going to go and change into a different color and add some more detail while I can. So I'm going to go into Snow White and I'm going to start marking up the eyes of uh, Blossom. So I'm going to just paint a nice line under the hairline over here. And then I'm going to start marking up a big circle just on here and fill it up at the same time. Just so I have the base for the eyes. Sometimes I love doing this technique because uh, color blocking before you add the detail can save you so much time. And I'm going to add another one on the other side. It's like the whole head is too big for the body. I don't know how they carry it. <laughs> That's a, a superpower by itself. So I'm happy with the eyes. I'm not going to go in and cure that because I can add some more before. So I'm going to go ahead and use candy apple, I believe it's called. A gorgeous red. And I'm going to start outlining again the top of the head over here because I'm going to paint the bow. So I'm outlining this, okay? And now I'm going to start painting the bow on top of the head. And I'm going to fill that in. I'm going to thicken up a little bit here. This is going to be the, the midsection of the bow there. And then fill in the rest of the bow. Once I'm happy with all three, I'm going to pop this into the lamp again for 15 to 20 seconds. I'm now going to go back into first night and I'm going to start painting another circle in the eyes. Just like so. I'm going to do it on the other side as well and then fill in both eyes. Right, I'm happy with how the eyes look. Cleaning my brush real quick and I'm going to go back into Snow White and I'm going to start outlining the legs. So I'm going to uh, add a little kind of a... Um, another cocktail sausage <laughs> at the bottom here and I'm gonna add another leg but this leg is gonna look a bit egg shaped so it's gonna be on top here it's gonna be quite round so we've got both legs on here we can add with Sirius Black the stripe on the midsection of the dress. So I'm going to go in and just paint a stripe here. So I've got the stripe on. There we go, that's better. And I'm now going to go in and flash cure this. Okay, we've got it cured over here and we're gonna go in with series black and just add another circle. Oh yeah, we're not done with circles today, guys. There's too much on these eyes over here. So we're gonna do a little circle in the midsection of the eye. And I think I might have to make it slightly larger. And I'm gonna add another one on the other side. So 
so i've got both eyes done over here um i'm gonna clean my brush quickly and go in to shy away just so i can add the second arm of blossom so again um cocktail sausage <laughs> on this side and fill it in once you're happy with the shape i just tend to put a blob on and then kind of drag the color in the white has cured so i'm going to go into series black as well because i can add more detail and i'm going to start painting the shoe so it's going to be a line okay just like so and then i'm going to go in and paint a u shape and then thicken the bottom line slightly and that's how we'll get the shoe i'm trying to break it down to as many stages as possible so it can help you paint a bit easier so again i'm going to do a line over here then a u shape i'm going to thicken the bottom the bottom sorry bottom thicken the bottom line <laughs> And I'll pop this back into the lamp. I'm going to go in with a dotting tool and just pick up some of that snow white and a dot, a big dot at the midsection of the black eye. So I've got two dots over here, which I'm happy with. And now I'm going to go in with um, that pink from earlier on. First night, is it called, Drew? First night, I think. First night, that's Yeah, enough. and I'm going to go and paint that mouth. So I'm going to go ahead and just paint a very small U-shape first, like that. And then I'm going to pull the color down and create a deeper U, just like this. And I'm just going to refine the shape before I cure this. Happy with the mouth, happy with the eyes, back into the lamp. Back into our power path. Now she is ready to go. All we have to do is carry on with the outlines. I'm swapping back to my triple zero three brush and I'm just outlining um, Blossom. And take your time outlining because uh, you know, you want to get it nice and even all the way across. Do you have a place you like to start from? Or? Uh, no, <laughs> I like to just uh, outline in sections. So I don't really do a full circle or anything like that. I just do it in bits. I like to kind of break it down to sections because then you get a nicer outline. I probably usually start with the easiest lines, which are the straight yeah, lines. Yeah, that's what I would think, yeah. Just block off as much as you can and then yeah. do the finer work last. That's right. Just clean up a little bit. So I'm going to just flash cure this quickly before I mess up and we'll continue outlining. Right, we've got our black cured and I'm going to go ahead and just add some more detail. So for the bow, I'm going to start with like a U shape first and then I'm going to outline the rest. I'm going to do the rest of this arm and clean up here a little bit. Right, I'm going to do the hair at the bottom.
Uh, I'll just clean up a bit here. And now just to finish off, we need to add a few lines of the hair just here. Just like so. And then a couple of the same lines just here. So I'm just outlining the mouth. And then I'll add a little tongue on the midsection. And our Power Puff Blossom is ready to be fully cured before we top coat it for you guys. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in to my favorite bit, which is a top coating. I'm gonna go in with our Urban Graffiti top coat and just whack on a nice layer to finish off and seal all, seal in all of that goodness. Wow, look at that, Drew. What do you reckon? She looks incredible. So cute, right? Something special takes me and back everything to, nice or something. Mm, say, isn't it? Takes me back to the 90s. Is it 90s? Yeah, thereabouts, I guess. So I've top coated this for you guys, and I'm gonna go in and flash cure it. No, cure it fully for the last time. <laughs> yeah, fully, fully. <laughs> and this is the final result, guys. How gorgeous is Blossom. Absolutely enjoyed painting it for you guys. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you pause it, take your time, follow the steps and tag me in your recreations. And if you'd like to see more of these, more Cartoon Network characters, drop us a message below with what character you'd like to see next. As usual, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll see you all on the next one. Take care guys. Yeah. Perfect. Fuck it out. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs>